Okay, so I'm revisiting um, something I tried a couple of years ago. I have um, my trusty rigid vacuum cleaner hooked up to uh, the bottom of the the cylinder. This one is sealed okay. And I've got it hooked up with the um, manometer, whatever the hell you call that thing. And got a little... Uh, spark plug that knocked the center out and right now the spark plug I mean the um, the lifter is pretty much at max lift on the intake so what I'm checking to see is what my reading is going to be with this head on here after I get those readings I'm going to try another head that I have it's a um, Edelbrock it's supposed to be for a blower and I expect something to be different and um, after that I think what I'm going to try is I have another block that I have totally different valve combination and see what that does so let's see what the numbers are <laughs> Like three little three and three little marks and nine and three little marks whatever that was three eighths yeah three and three eighths and nine and three eighths now, now I'm going to swap the cylinder heads over to the uh, Edelbrox just to see what it does differently okay so I turned off uh, vice grip garage switched the cylinder head over to a uh, Edelbrock head that I just had resurfaced they are, uh, it is a blower head, but it's been surfaced probably about 20 thousands. So it's a little closer. Let's see what the numbers look like when we turn on our little vacuum. I did not move the cam, so it's the same lift. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, um, if you notice when the numbers changed, what I was doing was putting my hand over the intake port. In other words, I was restricting the intake flow, and the numbers looked much more like the Navarro head with its very large chambers. That is very interesting. I'm going to continue to play with this and hopefully keep you abreast. This is uh, round three with some very old Offenhauser head that I had um, laying around forever. It's got spark plugs repaired and all four of them. Kind of resurfaced them uh, manually. Yeah. We'll see what it does. These were um, not exactly stock. They're, they're highly modified. So we'll see what the numbers are with this setup as compared to the uh, Edelbrock and the Navarro. Again, there I don't know that any of these are really stock. <laughs> What I've been doing is taking the two numbers and um, subtracting them from each other, one from the little one from the big one, and um, 
what I got so far was that. Let me see what I get with the um, Offenhauser. Be interesting. Okay, so I'm just trying to understand uh, exactly what I'm seeing. If I turn the vacuum cleaner back on and block the passage to the intake a little bit, in other words, reduce the flow, the number on the right gets lower and the number on the left gets higher. So obviously that's not a good thing. So looking at my numbers, um, I mean, this is just really general stuff, but uh, Navarro's are the worst. The Edelbrock's are in the middle, and the, that old Offenhauser head that I have is supposed to be uh, the best by those numbers. And that, I think that's a substantial amount. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to consult with a few other people and see what they think.